taking the prohibition of illegal street hawkers, traders, and of course beggars in the society he has passed for second reading in the Edo State House of Assembly. On viewpoint today, we are sorting the opinions of stakeholders on this recent development should the bill become law. Good morning and welcome to Viewpoints. I am Ifoma Igwe. <laughs> A bill on the floor of the house prohibiting um, uh, begging on the streets, uh, ho I mean, hawking and um, selling at the walkway. Um, we felt that it is timely now because one, we cannot continue to pretend to be in a lawless society when, in the real sense of it, for us as I do people, we have, even before civilization, we have rules guiding the society. And we obey these rules religiously. Now, in the past, yes, we have beggars, but they are restricted to certain areas. So when you need to give arms to them, you know where to go to. Those things. You have to travel all the way to our very close to the churches and some places and even give to the church. The church knew where to find the old people, they know where to find the handicapped people, and they know where to find those who are mentally unstable. Not on the streets. We know where to find them when we really need them, but not on the street. But these days, it became so worrisome because you find a woman very healthy no physical handicap, carrying a baby, with two other children around her on the streets, begging for money. That is absurd. That, that is laziness. That is uh, 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 unacceptable. And to the extent that they, they start to run after a vehicle or run after people who are pedestrians, trying to drag their bag, dry their clothes, I mean, that is unacceptable. You can only find that in a lawless society. And that is why we felt that we should, uh, there should be some sanity. These people should be restricted to where some of them ought to be genuinely. Those who are really genuine beggars, who are handicapped, who have, you really know them. And uh, even the, those who coming from the north, in the past, you don't find them on the streets. They are either around the uh, uh, churches, along the uh, Mission Road, at Bakbava, they have a small place where they stay, they live around there. And when you want to give them food or drinks, I've had opportunity to carry rice during Easter, Christmas, to that place, you see them. They live, they live around there. You see them, you go there, you give it to them, and they're happy. But the one that flitter the streets is the one we say is unacceptable. We cannot take it. And you know, more importantly that you wake up in the morning, you just find crowd of them. Now Kano has banned street begging, where it is even like Kaduna had banned street hawking, where in their law they permit it. Now they are all migrating to our state. The bill is seeking to prohibit begging, street begging and street trading and trading on walkways specifically is a much desired step being taken by the house of assembly in those states if the member of the house are acting this way i think they will win the applause of even their detractors we are impressed with that action but the, the details of the bill is not yet made known to the public so i cannot uh, give a full opinion on the overall nature of the bill until they, uh, they present it to the public and we watch the debate comprehensively. Go to evaluate. Apart from the problem which we all agree is there, it's a social menace, not treated halfway. We don't want any half measure approach. If they want to curb a menace, it should be totally curbed. There should be no middle way. Street begging as it is should not be condoned in any distant society. Human beings should be productive.
Nobody is totally useless except the person who can no longer breathe in and breathe out. Even cripples can be very creative. We have seen blind musicians like Stevie Wonder. He made serious money, he has created wealth and even employed people. We have lawyers who are not even, uh, they have a side defense. They are practicing. You have cripples, disabled, who are into handiwork, crafts. And they do very well, even better than their cobblers, doing better than people with a uh, complete uh, head. So, disability is not, a, it's not an excuse to become a perpetual beggar. There are certain vocations they can go into and they will be more useful to themselves and the society. And most of the people you see on the street begging, they are not even disabled. You are seeing child beggars. They are healthy. Some of them are of schooling age. Others are qualified to learn handiwork. But they won't do all of that. They just want to live and feed on the society and use charity as a window to exploit. Each time you drive along our streets, you discover that people invade you from all sides of your vehicle. They are not sick in any way, they are not disabled. They have parents. And nobody knows who their parents are. You don't give birth to children and throw them into the streets to go and be harassing people for money. After all, it is a choice. Giving birth is not an accident, it's a choice. And there must be a readiness of any parents who give birth to children to be ready to foot the bill of their upbringing and upkeep. I think passing such a bill we, we not address the situation. Over time, government takes decisions without looking at what is actually the problem of what actually led to people working. I can tell you that most workers are not happy doing that job. I can tell you most people selling a walkway are not happy selling a walkway. They are the means of getting jobs. That means the level of unemployment is too high that people have to survive. Government has, over time, solved problems and created more problems. I think government should create that enabling environment where there will be job, where some of these things ordinarily will fizzle out. For instance, where there's fear scarcity, you don't clamp it on those people that sell fear on the uh, on roadside, we will not stop it. Government make the fear available. Government should look at remote causes and address it from the root instead of making bills to incriminate people. Because the more people you incriminate, we will not try to solve it. Whether you like it or not, a man must surely look for source of livelihood. All the government to do is to create a facility or that social service that we accommodate these people and ensure that these beggars are taken off the streets and government take care of them. The bill just passed through second reading. Actually, this is the period we do public hearing if there's need to be one. Now, if you listen to the debates, uh, most of my members will separate them now. Let's take hockey. One group said the hawking issue is the one concerning school children. We are very much against school children hawking. So that we might put an age uh, limit we will have to tabulate her. probably from 12 down or 10 down. School children of school age. We don't want to see them hawking again during school hours. Those above that can hawk but probably not on walk ways. And don't forget, we are speaking for a do state. For traders, if you trade where you're supposed to trade, we don't have any problem. But not on the walkway. Like I said on that day, it is to sustain what the state government has already done. Because if you say don't be on the walkway, if you catch those on the walkway, what do you do to them? There must be a law governing that. That's how we are bringing out this law. But for beggars, those are not a do people at all. These people are brought in every night with trailers. We believe amongst those beggars are these people kidnapping people, I trust them. That's why we want to control that seriously. That's what all the bill is about. And usually I would like to let the public know that when we are debating on a bill like this, even if we do not call for a public hearing, if you have any memo concerning such a bill, send to us. I will read it on the floor of the house. I will consider the merit and include it in what we are, what we are doing. bill is good and I pray that the House of Assembly should go to uh, complete it 
because uh, those little children they are using a begging along the street it's not good there is somebody somewhere waiting for them to go outside to go and collect this money and make a return to them so government should do everything within their power to make sure that those things stop it's not encouraging <laughs> seeking the prohibition of street hawkers is it just about everybody or is it going to specialize on children of school age and that of trading on the workway people have always clamored for a bigger space and market so they can go and sell their wares and that of prohibition of beggars some people see begging and arms giving as a way of life and they also think that it is godly to give arms to the downtrodden in the society and uh, when these people are removed from the streets where then can they find them to give arms to them as we await the unfolding of this bill and possibly the passage i am ifoma igwe good morning